coming up on the first pitch. And today's starter, Rube Foster. Leading All right, ready to get underway. Side. Now it's the, the shortstop, Hannes Wagner. Wagner. Foster comes to the plate. And that one is lifted in the air. Mays under it. Makes the grab. And there's one down. Mike's even a good pitch early in the at-bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Got it by him for the K. He's really good hitting the baseball. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. <laughs> Anderson going back into the bleachers and gone. He flexes his power with that swing, and the White Sox strike first. It's one nothing. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. What I love about this swing is he stayed tall, allowed his hands to go directly to the baseball. Let Spin and hit it out of the ballpark. Really nice job. And now the first, the baseman, first baseman, Mark McGuire. Mark McGuire. And he deals. Fly Levin, multi time all star. He features a slider, a four seamer, a change up, and he works in a two seamer. Next offering is in for a strike. Way inside, gets out of the way. Straighten him up a little bit. The pitch. Hangs one, and that one is, in fact, looking up and gone! He sends it out of here, and we're level. It's 1-1. This is the zone. And that's downstairs. Now three and oh. On the corner at the knees for a strike. And the righty deals. second and he's out trying for two gotta love the hustle and the attitude there to try to stretch that single into a double but unfortunately thrown out at second base he was so close to being in scoring position but a run scores in the inning as this ties things up Rookie second baseman, Lee Lin. They make moves on the base paths. And a swing and a miss. Now two away. Got a pitch to hit right there with two strikes. This one in the air right field. Fair ball. Around first and hustling for second. And that's a double. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. When you pop a block out pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. 
Garrick slash 300, 431, 584. Not too bad, right? Got him looking. Fastball to Letters throws him for strike three. So now it's the White Sox DH, Paul Canerco. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. And the leadoff man aboard. Hi tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of... Caught him looking for the K. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the play right there. At least to bounce something off and extend that at bat. Now the catcher up to hit. Adley Rutschman, the pitch. High fly ball out of the left center field. And Ricky Henderson the grab. Rutschman retired. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Third out. White Sox lead one. Back here at Coors Field, top six, digging in, Hannes Wagner. A lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. And, oh no, it's out of play. Just a terrible throw there. Well, that's just an unacceptable basical in getting it back into the infield. and they're... A free pass coming with nobody out and the runner at second. Looks like they're shooting for the double play. Oh, man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Oh, Swing no. and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field. Way back there. That's down. One hops off the wall. One runs in. Now a relay to the plate. The right tag there. out. But one run is in to score. Now, the base runner did a great job of making that a close play at the plate with an excellent slide. Made the catcher work to get out there and put down the tag. The throw was on the money, and that's what made the difference. Big time play to cut down a run. and misses it's a strikeout now at 10 k's with still a few innings left so expect them to add on to that total and you no know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout for any i mean that's excellent work uh, the way it looks now i mean he's going to have chicago gary sheffield he launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one yeah that was big for these guys early on definitely helped them get off onto the right foot sheffield at first two out of the inning Line drive, that's a base hit. Headed for the plate. He'll score, and it's three to one. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down. Manager out of the dugout now, and he'll make a move to dip into the Rockies' bullpen. Rube Foster gives way, and the line not closed on him yet as he's responsible for the runners on base. New pitcher in the game for the Rockies, Whitey Ford. Good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate of well. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. 8-9-1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. Here's a speed threat. Craig Biggio hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. That one off the mark, and that's ball one. Good feel when he throws it. Swings here and blasts one left field. Way back there. And it one-hops the wall. Into second with a double. And they've got something brewing now. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones where you've got to make a pay. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Makes the catch, and that will end the inning. The Rockies strand one. Score holds. It's 3-1. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. His ability to draw walks has been something. Rutschman gets his lead at first with nobody out. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout.
this man. Swing and a ground ball out to short, and that one finds its way through. And the postseason success continues for him. Oh, this has been one out. Runners at first and second. In the air, right side of the infield. And that one gets down, fair ball. To the plate, save! And they're up by three. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Kind of your classic jam shot blooper right there. And a one-two. Got him looking. Couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball at the knees. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want from the bump and big time pop at the plate. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Ah! From third to add on, and they lead by four. Picks himself up an RBI. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it. It's... And that's ball four. Well, he's starting to look a little gassed to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. Gets those swings and misses. Somebody's going to have to shorten up, be a little more patient, and make this guy work in the zone a little more. That's hard hit on the line. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. And it'll be runners at second and third, only one away. That's that classic right out slider below the zone right The pitch. Swing and a miss. What the and that fuck? is that. Starting to run out of outs as they're unable to chip away. We look ahead to inning number eight. Mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Tanner Howe. Ladies and gentlemen. Righty to the plate. And a ground ball to first. And he handles it oh. himself for the out. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. <laughs> and there's two away. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really oh, caught what? way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Henderson stands in with two away as he takes a ball. There's a swing and a drive. That one back. Hits the fence. <laughs> Got himself a triple. Well, he's been having a hard time just putting the ball in play in this one, so that should help so much. Uh, you kind of think about what it could have been, but obviously... Come on now! You have to be... Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. One, two, three! Uh, a towering home run, and they cut into the deficit. It's 5-3. hit and that keeps the inning going good. and now let's see if they throw some action with good wheels on the bases new pitcher for the white Sox, emmanuel classe i think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball high pressure this one included we'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save now here is mark mcguire first pitch and that's in for a strike Swings through that one out front that time. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. But two come across to score in the inning courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now a 5-3 ball game.
well struck right field back there. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. There are several ways that they can get this run across. So, man, base open at first now. And here's the intentional walk. They might be trying to set up the double flip. Wagner over at second. k -Line at first with no outs. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Wagner flying around third. He'll score easily. It's 6-3. to three. Rockies turn the ball over to a new arm. Bruce Suter. Oh! Yeah. Coming home. <laughs> one run is in. Here comes Gary. He's also in to score. And the lead is up to five. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. So two down now. And here is Munitaka Murakami. Here's a drive out to right center. Way back there. Look out. Come on. A two-run shot, and they add to their lead. It's 10-3. Pitch to travel a little bit deeper, and when it was time to commit, his hands exploded through the zone. And hard, that gets through. Rupture, the runner at first with two gone. The punch out there, and he's gone for the fourth time tonight.